Welcome YouTubers. iPad OS, the new operating system for the iPad, has a fantastic feature that allows you to capture a screenshot of an entire page and then print that screenshot to OneNote. Let's learn how to do this. We are going to capture the screenshot of an entire website and send that to OneNote. In order to complete this operation, you need to be using Safari on iPad OS. Navigate to the website that you would like to screenshot and then capture the screenshot by pressing the home button and the power button at the same time. The screenshot will appear in the lower left hand corner of your iPad. You can tap on that to open it. You will want to select the full page option. At that point, you can scroll up and down the website and you can annotate as needed using the annotation tools that are provided. When you have finished, select done and then select save PDF to files. The PDF will be saved to your iPad or to another location that you specify once you have clicked save. After the screenshot has been captured and saved, you can navigate back to your home screen and locate the files icon. You will long press to select file. You can select the most recent file and you can tap on that. Once it has opened, you can select the share button in the upper right hand corner, the square with the arrow pointing out of it. Scroll to the right and select OneNote. If OneNote is not enabled, you will need to select more and make sure that OneNote is enabled. Once you have selected OneNote, you will choose a location in the notebook, the title, and any note that you would like to add, and then hit send. So I will choose the location where I would like to send this. I'm going to send it to my Apple folder, and then I will hit send. It looks like nothing has happened. However, if I now navigate to OneNote, and I open OneNote, and I locate my Apple folder, I will see that the file has been inserted as a file. If I would like for this to insert as a printout instead, I can long press on the file and I can select printout and the file will then be printed into OneNote where I will have access to all of the information that was on the website. This is a very useful tool. If you are looking to capture information that is on a website and keep that organized in your teacher notebook within OneNote. If you have any questions about this operation, please let me know.